Hey, hi everyone. Good to see you all here. Welcome to Floodland. Just finished up a live stream over on their Steam store page. You may have uh, seen me over there, so welcome. If you're tuning in from Steam, uh, good to see you. Otherwise, hi guys. Good to see all you good old pals and buds too. We played this game before on uh, video, but now finally Floodland is out. So uh, I'm actually going to do a quick restart of the game and make sure we're playing with like the... I want to actually like make sure I've got the release version. I want to start from scratch now and um, do like an actual kind of like day one playthrough of it. Um, so I streamed over on the Steam store page for this game as part of a sponsored deal for about two hours and got uh, a little bit more familiar with some of the systems in the game and how it works differently. If you're a big fan of um, Endzone, A World Apart, um, you like surviving the aftermath, this is kind of along the same lines to where it starts. And then... Eventually, it gets really interesting with how the dynamics between the different types of societies work. You're, you're trying to essentially make a society based on all these different people who are survivors, who, like, you know, banded together in camps to try to survive, like, the world apocalypse, and they're now trying to actually build a somewhat decent, like, society or, like, a decent city. So you'll be dealing with a lot of different people who have different backgrounds of their employment or uh, trade different types of things handed down over time. That'll be cool. What? Half hair? The hair? The, what? The, the hair is back? I've always had hair. Wait, what? What are we talking about? Yeah, I'm just finishing the update for the game. It's like 51 megabytes, so. Good times, brother. Yeah. Hi, Brandon. Good to see you. Hi, chat. Welcome aboard. Nice to see you all again. Ah, and finally it is time for Floodland. Let's go, baby. This game came out about an hour ago on Steam. Yeah, about an hour ago. So if you'd like to play, uh, it is out now. And uh, I'm going to check the price for you all real quick for anybody who might ask. Looks like this one is... Oh, just $95. Not, not too bad. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's 30 30 bucks. Not bad. That's not bad. I see a lot of replayability in this game, too, because there's... Uh, different levels of uh, challenge. You can set your difficulty, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's get some ones in the chat for the number one community out there. One in the chat if you're a subscriber. One in the chat if you're watching live. One in the chat if you want to have a giveaway a little bit later on the Discord. I think we should do one. One in the chat if you are happy we are one day closer to Friday. One in the chat if... Everyone is ready for Thanksgiving, or if everybody's excited for the uh, winter time, or one in the chat if you hate it, want to banish it to the Shadow Realm, whatever it may be. Good to see you all here. Hey, look at those ones in the chat. All right, good to see you all. Mm, coffee, need good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start from scratch. We'll probably play on the mediumish difficulty, the recommended, I guess, because. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, even now. But it doesn't mean we can't learn, so that's cool. All right? Awesome. Well, welcome, guys. Good to see you all here. Thanks again, members, for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for spamming the like button like crazy. You guys are awesome. Ready? Let's go. Can I share my Spanksgiving menu? Um, I don't know, because I'm going to one of my uh, uh, aunt's cousin, or cousin's house. Some Somebody in my family is getting a new house. Where we've kind of decided that, like... Their mom's going to prepare a lot of the food, but we're going to have it at their house. But I don't know who's cooking what or what it will be. So, All right, uh, let's see. So we've got four factions to choose from, but we'll be dealing with all these factions in the, uh, in the end. So we've got ourselves the Good Neighbors, Oak Hill Survivors, the Fire Brigade, and the Burkut Three. They all have different traits that give them, like, bonuses. Let's see. Reduces the effect of crime by 50%. Increases clan member walking speed by 20. All water filters produce 25% faster. Workaholics. Ooh. Enables night shift in production buildings. Members of the clan eat 50% less safe food. During epidemic, modifies sick person's time for disease to become lethal by 150%. Searching and collecting resources is 50% faster for all clans. Oh, wow. All right, we're going with the uh, the oil 
Garrick clan. Let's go. We'll skip the tutorial, but we will do the prologue. Yeah. All right, let's go. Bye. was 15, I buried my sister with my own hands. Some think the event was the cause, but it all began long before. I remember the times of confusion and strife. I heard the silence that drowned the screams. The event it was simply the final blow. Some say those in charge failed us. Others, that we are all to blame. But we dwell too much on what's behind. I say, let's focus on what lies ahead. And ahead, I see hard-working hands building houses. I see strong backs carrying food. And smiles. The smiles that greet newcomers. I cried when my sister died. Now we mourn our friend as she is taken by the water. But tomorrow, I don't fear tomorrow I'll be crying. Because I know if we make it, we can all sit back and laugh. Wow. Powerful intro. Let's begin. Okay. A new beginning. We've arrived. This is where the scouts uh, sent those flares. It looks like they were right. They found signs that I told them to look for. I must say, I'm a touch nervous. We're going to try restarting civilization, or at least try or give it to the initial spark. However, this isn't something people do every day, you know. Speaking of, this is where we're going to launch our search for the pre-event, the rebirth power plant. Uh, it was the top of the line uh, just before everything collapsed. For over 20 years, only scavengers roamed this place, setting up temporary camps from, uh, from time to time, probably unaware of the treasures to be found here. Now I have the most trustworthy intel that the plant is somewhere in the area. First, though, I'm hungry. I guess everyone is. Can't jump, start civilization on an empty stomach. So our goal is to go find a power plant, one that was before the end of the world. Interesting. Prologue. Stationary Travelers. Find all scouts and establish a permanent settlement. We're to begin a new civilization here in the wetlands. We must, or we will need to build an infrastructure to rest it upon. We will need to build it one tent at a time. Sounds intense, bruh. Let's go. All right, let's om nom some food. Let's go. Black some berries. Very good idea. Um. Ooh. Oh, we're right next to like an abandoned factory. Cool. Chad, are you hiding in there? Come out of those blueberry bushes. Come on. Dude, every game now has blueberry bushes and bears. Every time we've been playing, it's like bears and blueberries. Blue bear berries. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're at 28 out of 60. Each of these seems to have five. This is going to take a while. What's up, North Gaming? How you doing, dude? Activate blueberry goblin mode. Yeah. Need those blueberries. Oh, 
Okay, that should be enough food for the camp. Well, we should probably get more, because they're only going to eat it. Success! Seems going to be enough for a while. Now that we know we won't starve, we can jumpstart civilization. Almost feels like uh, biogenesis out here in those untamed flooded lands. Oh, uh, biogenesis is a fancy biology word that means the beginning of life. Uh, I'm almost embarrassed to use such big words, but sometimes they're just too perfect not to use. The scouts we sent to explore the area moved on to continue their expedition. We should find them and see what kind of information they might have obtained. I need to talk to them to see if they've discovered any details about the power plant. However, so far everything looks good. Definitely the right spot, one step at a time though. The scouts currently hold up in some derelicts around here. Let's go find them. Let's do it, brother. Yeah. Let's go search for those guys. The music in this game is chill. I wish that some of this music was in um, Surviving the Aftermath. I could definitely use that music. Can't have blueberries without bears? That's true. I mean, it just seems like it fits the territory, the territory. Survivors found. Excellent. Uh, we found them. The scouts nearly, a uh, barely, have barely survived the expedition. All right. The word bears. Let's give them berries. Okay. All right. Huh. All right. All right. Game's already picking on me. Okay. Let's wait for our next quest. Oh, complete. Yep. We're all back together now. Still, we're closer than anyone's been in 20 years. Yeah. For the power plant. Yep. Time to settle down. Upgrade the encampment to a permanent storage facility. Let's do it. Gonna take 300 supply or rubbish. All right. Let's gather only the rubbish for now. Oh, also, let's set. Uh, we're gonna send out scouts. All right, we're going to go scout around and see if we can look through the fog of war. All right. <clears throat> water we can get from the water tower there, so we'll be all right. We'll be good. Alright, we need 200 for the... Oh, we gotta research it first. So, develop small storage. There we go. Now they just gotta upgrade. Hell yeah, brother. Upgrade, yeah. Sound like a storm out there. I guess it's them doing construction. Sounds like they got power tools. There's no power out here. There's no power here. Ooh. Search those too. And those. Oh, we got our research back. Uh, provide tents for your people. Oh man, things are getting intense, chat. 
So under well-being tense. Hey, what's up, DJ? How you doing, man? Welcome to the Big O stream. Good to see you. I guess I'll build our houses down this way. Uh, it seems like a lot of houses, but if we build them now, we won't have to worry about them later. All right, we got lots to do. Lots to do. Oh, boy. Hey, thanks for subscribing, uh, Charlie Drew. Thank you very much for subbing, man. Ah, coffee chat. Dude, what are these new emotes that HZ is putting out? What are these? Does YouTube have new emotes or something going on? Did, like, YouTube refresh their emotes? What is that weird purple thing? I saw some of you guys using, like, purple sunglasses and stuff, too. Did they put in emotes that don't suck? Dude, they should have hired, uh... They should have hired Art to do that. Yeah, what is that about? Is there, like, some sort of... Is there a reason for that? Okay, gather a supply of 400 uh, rubbish and... Get clean water. Wait, yeah, why is everything pink? I think you can gather with search an area that already is discovered. Really? Mm. Oh, does that tell them to gather? It says search and explore. Oh, does search mean to, like, go collect? No way. Oh, I wish... Wish I would have known that before. Oh, no way! Really? Oh, bruh, I didn't know that. They should probably change that from search to explore to... Like... Search and collect or something? That'd be awesome. Thank you very much, uh... Gela? Thank you very much. Wow, whoa, YouTube's got some sweet... What are these sweet emotes? Holy crap, YouTube's got emotes that don't suck. Am I going to be continuing Oregon Trail tonight? No, but we will be continuing it, like, maybe tomorrow. Tonight, uh, there's a new farming sim expansion out called, um, the Platinum Edition, so we're going to, we're going to play that. We get to build stuff in that one. It's going to be, it's going to be cool, but we will go back to that. Dude, look at all these emotes from YouTube. They're actually decent. What is going on? Those are legit decent emotes. Like, that's something that... Art would have designed it. First, when you guys were using it, I was like, did I put something in that Art made? These emotes are actually decent, dude. Although, I don't know, YouTube thinks that they're, like, gonna make... Look, we look. I've made a Kappa. And it's like, no. The sunglasses are good, though. They made that one for me. Also, I like the, uh, the GG one and the Game Over one. Oh, they're cool. Well, the goat one is good, too. Greatest of all time. Okay, that makes sense. All right, we got eight people who are homeless. We're still building more houses. I, did, I didn't even know you could collect stuff this way. I've been doing it like a noob. Which I guess I am. Like, you can have a hundred hour, a thousand hours in City Skylines and still not know what you're doing. With a lot of things. A lot of things. Cool. Wow, get those emotes going. So we have emotes as well for our members, too. So if you guys haven't clicked or tapped join and became a member, now's an awesome time to become part of the community and get them emotes. Otherwise, use YouTube's free ones. Those are they're actually decent. They're decent. 
Well, that's cool because, like, you know, honestly, people who aren't non-members or, or just subs are, like, cursed with these, like, B-quality ones. But these are actually, like, B-plus quality? I, I wouldn't say they're A, but they're definitely good. A few more houses. Now, six months from now, YouTube will say, hey, we just updated our website to show, like, new emotes. It's like, YouTube. That was eight months ago, bro. Bruh. Yeah, let's build another, uh... Surge. The spam emote is your favorite? Good one. Dude, we got a lot of great emotes here. For sure. We came up with some good ones. Good ones. The demo for this was impressive? Yeah, I thought so too, and I didn't really think it, um, you know, this is a game where you're gonna have to play it quite a bit to get an actual picture of what it is, so, like, the demo is just a snapshot, and I wanted to play it more. Wow, 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 wow. So we're going to wait till Love the streams. Relax with a cup of coffee is just perfect. Oh, awesome. Glad you guys are enjoying the chill streams. Oh, it's kind of hard to be like anything but chill in these types of games. It's a little more thinking. It's like 4D chess. Okay, now they want us to build water stills. Can we research that? Or is it just unlocked by default? Nope. Gotta research. Those are expensive, though. It takes 320 rubble to build that? Wow. Oh, the hotkey for explore is R. Okay. All right, we're building a lot of stuff, so let's wait for that to be done. Oh, and then we can start searching these houses. That'll be great. Just got to be within our sphere of influence. What's up, Cat Dean? This music is chill. Wait, what's this? Oh, I think that means not enough space in the warehouse. That's fine. <clears throat> Speed up time to the next day and then we'll start building. Do I know the game Escape the Back Rooms? I have seen some of that gameplay, yeah. Isn't that a multiplayer game, too? I 
wonder if there's a way to make the search area larger. It seems to, like, adjust its size somehow, but I'm not necessarily doing it myself. Weird. Boom, boom, boom. Would I recommend this uh, to somebody who likes these types of games? Oh, yeah, I mean, if you like it, it's, it's, it's in the wheelhouse of games that are, like, I mean... This game shares the same, you know, post-apocalyptic city builder aspect that all the same post-apocalyptic city builders have. It's got the fundamentals there, the basics. And then it really expands into uh, something more with, like, trying to weave people together through having them create a culture and a society based on all sorts of different survivors and things. Kind of interesting. Pretty cool. This is some lore. Apparently there's 20 pieces of lore too in the full in the game. That tell the story about the power plant and the world before. The land before time. Alright, so these people here at this warehouse don't want to walk so far. So I'm going to build some more tents over here for them too. We're going to have our town kind of separated into two, two towns. Nice. Shorter trip. I've never played DayZ before. I mean, not on stream. I think I owned it for Arma 2, but... Or the mo uh, mod variant of it. Something. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a long time. Long time ago. Backrooms is multiplayer, and it has a new update that came out about three days ago. Oh, that's cool. What's up, Michelle? How you doing? This gives you civilization vibes. Interesting uh, observation. Interesting. I think you're right about some of the how some of the buildings and stuff appear. Kind of remind me when you zoom in close on when you're building a city. You know, there was a new uh, uh, update or DLC that came out for um, what was it? Uh, Humankind. I think the newest DLC was called "We Rule Together" or something. I don't know what it's about, but I want to take a look. Brother, yeah. Hey, you know what came out just earlier today, too? The Texas DLC for American Truck Simulator. Okay, we need to put down a water still, otherwise people will die to death. We'll need a little bit more... S yeah. Perfect. Alright, let's speed up time. Can't wait to play the Texas DLC tonight? Yeah, good for you. Enjoy. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I thought it was pretty cool. Love me some simulators. Love me some city builders. And I love when we get crossovers of both. Lots of fish, yeah, for sure. Yeah, this game's loaded with fish. Cool, now everybody should be able to live over here. Oh, we got plenty of room for homes now. Plenty of room for people. Alright, let's salvage some water. No bears yet, tee hee, yeah. Haha, tee hee viewer. Ha. Water bears. They exist. All 
All right, there's our radio tower. Oh, that thing looks like it's going to tip over. Well, it's still intact, so we'll keep it. Is this always the same map? Um, this is a little different than... I mean, it's kind of the same... I think there's parameters to it, like it's always supposed to be kind of the same size and shape, but it's slightly different every time that I've played it. Oh, the little heart emo. Yeah, YouTube's got a bunch of new emotes and stuff. Some of them are, like, kind of good. I just don't know what they, like, convey. Like, you know. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right, we should have enough supply to build water filters now. Nope. Well, we should be able to at least put them down on the map. Perfect. When did YouTube add new emojis? I just saw them today. I saw chat using them. They're cool and all, but they just kind of feel like... Lip art? They don't really have like a feeling to them yet. It's like, if you've ever... Uh, whenever people send super chats, sometimes there's like weird animations for some of them. Like there's a hippo one, and like a lem... Uh, a lemon and a... There's like a lemon and like a blueberry lemon. And they have lore to them. Like YouTube tried to be hip and cool by like... If you try to go like... Alright. Sometimes when you drop a super chat you can select like a little hot dog icon or like a coffee icon. Like you can give, you know, a couple bucks to a YouTuber or something and buy him a coffee or something like that. That's kind of what that implies. Or you can type a message. But sometimes you can do a sticker that's like an animated hippo and like a computer chair. And it always weirds me out. It's like, what the hell is going on? Like, why is this hippo in this computer chair? Like, it's it's like in a DX racer chair or something. It's really weird. Uh, this game looks like if Surviving the Aftermath, you played this. Uh, yes, yeah, so we played this game before. And it does look like Surviving the Aftermath, yeah, with a little end zone a world apart, for sure. The game's a little different, though. I don't know, I'm playing it again because I kind of liked it. It's got a kind of chill start to it, and then it starts to get really interesting. I want to see where it ends up going. Alright, let's search for more people. You wonder if they credited the artist? Yeah, I don't know. YouTube certainly... It looks like it's all the same feel to it. Kind of weird. Like, I appreciate them trying new things, though. Uh, otherwise, it... Yeah, it's good. Congratulations, you tried. Let's create a forger now.
Bumbo. Maybe they're made by an AI. True. Yeah, I'm sure YouTube will eventually have some sort of AI for sure. Survivors found. Good. Welcome aboard. We need more workers. Susan's hip with the kids, yeah. There's the other one. Yeah, the music's great here. The music reminds you of RimWorld? Oh, really? I haven't uh, played the Rim World with the kids yet. Kitties, they think they think it's cool. Um, um. Okay, provide a steady supply of edible plants or fish. So we're basically making a forager now to bring in mushrooms and whatever else. Apparently we can also have uh, insects in this game. Insect farming. Yum. Taste the rainbow. Nice, job complete. All right, for, provide a place for people to study. A library, nerds. That's probably under growth. All right, let's build a study. Remember, chat, tomorrow is Wednesday, and Buford T. Gamer has confirmed his presence for a mandatory. He's gonna be here. I mean, he's gonna be here. That's right. Yeah, burbs. There we go. Now we need to gather relics. Pretty sure we did that. Yeah, that should be all the buildings that have supply. Yeah, look at the one from eBiz. What is that? Like a bunch of hands in front of a mouth? Like, oh my god. It's actually quite clever. Can you build a scrap boat in this game? Uh, there's something like that. Some people can travel on boats that they'll make themselves, but there seems to be a way for us to make a way to connect islands together. Uh, by building stilts. Something like that. Then we can build a connection between islands without having to... Well, we can make basically make roads in this game and districts so it kind of works like how it would in uh, Timberborn 
a little bit. Although these are more human-like needs. Human, human-like. Uh, there's a hundred water in there. That's fine. Brother, yeah. All right, cool. So now we can study the old world relics and generate research, and then we can unlock the whatever... Might be the good first good thing to do. Brother, yeah. Ah, there he goes again, Gallon with the big brain. Right, so we can see how quickly they're generating knowledge, but since it's nighttime, they can't. Apparently, we can make um. Like how it is an end zone, a world apart, we can make nighttime productivity. Like we can make a night shift if we have electricity. So they can see what they're doing. Makes sense. Bueno. Big brain, yeah. I wonder what their hours are, like, I'm assuming it's like 7 to 9. I mean, when you're trying to survive the post-apocalyptic uh, landscape, you probably want to work pretty hard. Yeah, we're at zero food. Go ahead and correct that. Well, that's weird because we have two people working at a forager. That we should have more than enough food. Uh, we could build a fishing dock, but then we got to build a cooking house too. Yeah, more food is needed. There we go. Alright, we got some food coming in. The treasury is empty, my liege. Now, ah, plus, if we're going to do a cookhouse, we actually have to research it, too, and it's like, ugh. I feel like we should get more from the forger and the berries. Rimworld music? Yeah, you're the second person to say that. A lot of people were saying, like, Rimworld vibes with the music. This soundtrack reminds me of SnowRunner, too. The game where you drive around and deliver logs and stuff in the mud. Oh, we found thermite in here. What? We're, we're discovering explosives. Who had thermite at their house? There might be wanted by the FBI.
All right, well, we have some uh, risky food. Well, all right, we have we do have food, but it's kind of risky, so it could make people sick after a while. So we, we got some. We need better food. We'd have, we have some, but it's not great. But at least it's not zero. Burn, 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 burn. Music is great. When we get to a certain point of the game, there's like a custom song that plays, and I'm just going to let it roll. We'll be there soon. Hey, there we go. All right, so now... Set up stuff for fortitude, okay. So we're going to do that. Let's set up a logging hut. I think we can rotate with shift, yep. Okay, oh good. Decent food's coming in again. And then we're going to start researching books and try to make um, some other knowledge out of it. The thing we want to make next, truly, is a thing known as the... Like a collector or something. I forget what they call it, but it makes uh, grabbing all that scrap way easier. The rubble and the uh, rubbish are much easier to get. High low rubble. Snake Hun, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Thanks for the membership. Enjoy your new emotes and more. Oh, it reminds you of the StarCraft Terran music? Love it. Yeah, that uh, StarCraft uh, definitely created a little bit of a vibe there for that game. Every time I watch, whenever there's Firefly on, Whenever I see it on, I always think of StarCraft because of that. Okay. There's that building too. Jacked up and good to go. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Awaiting orders. This we found an electronic chip. Ooh, I hope they're sour cream and onion flavored. I'm, I'm in the mood for that. I could vibe with that a little bit. All right, we're waiting for a little bit more research to be done. Then we're going to switch to books. We're going to get hooked on phonics. Uh, can you move the air? 
a population to an empty area or do you have to get more and more people? Um, both. If you build houses and jobs next to the houses, the people will kind of automatically move to where the jobs are. And then if they're too far away, they'll say, hey, I'm too far from my job. So then you just build houses next to the job that's far away. But eventually we're going to create districts and then we get to kind of zone them differently. It's kind of like how it works in City Skylines a little, a little bit with how you can set policies. You don't get to like paint the zones or anything. It's kind of all limited to like settling an island. Speaking of islands, chat, we gotta play Tropico again soon. Yeah, new one. We'll just start a fun sandbox um, city and just see how it goes. Love starting that one in colonial times, breaking away from the crown and then just making bank off the uh, rum. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, we're, st we're still doing research? Good. We need to find some more people. We gotta get... Uh, better food sources going on. Again, we're still eating risky food, so it's, it's not that bad. Uh, are resources infinite, or do you eventually empty everything? Resources in this game, some... Because we're in flooded lands, resources will wash up on the shore, but it's like... Stuff like wood and plastics and things. They'll respawn. So it simulates like, uh, you know, currents and things like that. Pretty chill so far. I wish this building would work faster, though. We could build two, but then we got to dedicate more people to that, you know? What's up, Muhammad? How you doing, dude? Okay, I think these are the last three that we can research. Oh, wow. We're going to generate 60 more research. We'll have 91, hopefully. Flotsam and Jetsam are a nice way of introducing resources over time, yep. That was the name of Ursula's Eels in Little Mermaid. Okay, two more research to go. Do we need to build defenses? Uh, I don't think we are going to get... There's crime in the game, so there might be like a tower or something we could build for like security or something, but... I don't think we can get attacked by other factions yet. It might be, but I haven't seen anything that confirms that. Or disproves it, so... Just finishing this last research here. Suspicious water filter. Go ahead and repair it. Seems like it was the good choice. Now we gotta go out without water for a while while they do maintenance on that. Damn, looks like the logging camp cut down a ton of trees. Hold off on that, Chief. Oh, we got two people with poisoning. Uh, that's not that bad, but food, yeah, food is desperate. We need to immediately make uh, some sort of a cookhouse. Hmm. 
could make a fishing dock for two. And a field kitchen for two. Like the fishing shack can just go on the shore. Dragon's Eye Media, welcome. Okay. Now we're going to catch fish and turn them into meals. We're also doing mushrooms and I guess we've kind of Killed off all the berries. Let, let, let's let the berry bushes regrow for a while. Wow. This group, like, eats like crazy, man. La last group we played as was, I think they were called the Good Neighbors, and they barely ate anything. Here it's just like, food goblin. Just, I don't know, I don't know. Like, alright guys, we have one berry. We need to make it last. I don't know. Okay. We need to keep gathering plastics, though. Good. All right, so now we can make actual food. That's good. Oh, good to hear you enjoyed uh, Manor Lord Swift Bear. Great game. Just the demo was amazing. Are we winning? I'd say so. I think we're doing a great job so far. I think this is a pretty good layout for a city, actually. Now let's switch to... Oh, we need to research academy mode. Apparently there are hostile clans. Okay. We'll see if we can see them. All right, one of our goals complete. Excellent. to get another person fishing. There we go. Boom. Boom. Come on, let's go. Bum, bum. All right, coffee time. Ah, good. 
Uh, Co-creators of This War of Mine created this game studio? Oh, really? I gotta go back and play uh, This War of Mine as well. I mean, I played it, but not on the channel. So that's another one I gotta hit up. Will I be playing Midnight Suns when it comes out? What is that? Midnight Suns. For whatever reason, that sounds like a motorcycle racing game or something. Bro, this this clan... It, you know who should eat a lot? Is the uh, firefighter clan. You know what I mean? How firefighters always make like chili and hoagies and things like that. It'd be the same thing. Okay. Now we're training people on fortitude, and then we need... Uh, it's a new Marvel RPG coming out soon. That's called Sun Midnight Suns? Yeah. That Gotham Knights was fun. I enjoyed that a little bit. I, I think it just kind of made me miss watching the Arkham Asylum games or Arkham City. Watching other people play that and like enjoy it. That was cute. Okay. So what kind of research do we want to do? No. Well, we'll need to do the radio tower. That's what we want. The sorting hut to be upgraded to the sorting lodge. Unless our clan gets some sort of bonus. Nope. Alright. Uh, oh, we might. We might actually. Precision. I want fortitude, though. Ah, yeah. So that's tier one. Cool. Another goal complete. Midnight Sun is a Marvel superhero turn-based card game. Oh. Uh, it might be cool. The only card game I've real there's There was a couple of card games we played recently on the channel that were like dungeon crawlers and then also cards. Those are the only cards. K-A-R-D-S, which is like a World War II card game. I like that because I recognize a lot of those vehicles and their capabilities. But... I've not been too into, like, card games. I thought Hearthstone was cool for a while, but... I, I liked what I learned when I played that. Gwent is amazing. Oh, that is a good game. All right, we're gonna have no choice but to go down this specialization. Sorting hut, sorting lodge. So let's go with the sorting lodge. Oh, look at that, nice. That's a good one. Hey, what's up, Nerd Palooza? You hope Captain of Industry gets an update soon? I did see the developer tweeting out pictures of them making some big changes to it where the game's going to look different, like they're adding a ton of details uh, to the ground and grass and stuff like that. What's up, Anders Nerd? How you doing? All 
Oh. I'm doing fine too. Thank you. chat hello there are quite a few post-apocalyptic city builders to choose from yeah true yeah, i do like this one though for using water as a barrier uh i should use the word barrier but you get what i mean i do like surviving the aftermath for creating like uh, junk and radioactivity on the ground this game having water end zone having like uh weather cycles where rain and Stuff comes in, you gotta capture it. That game's really cool with how you have to like actually capture water. Pretty cute. Really enjoyed the Oregon Trail live stream. Yeah, Un unfortunately I got Susan and clapped to hell. I didn't realize all the mu e like every ounce of the music was DMCA'd. So, but we'll play it again and I'll turn it off. It seems like a lot of fun. We only, like, we played that game for four hours and we only beat, like, a fifth of the first run. So there's a lot of content in that new Oregon Trail game. Because then there's a bunch of other stuff, too, in there. Like, there's other trails you can go to that are shorter and different in many ways. So there's, like, the California Trail and, like, the Washington Trail or whatever. There's just lot, lots of ways and places to go. Like, the, the base Oregon Trail game is there, but... They've also added a lot of other little cool story and ex exploration things to do. I thought it was pretty cool. We definitely need a lockpick to get in there. Further yet? Yeah. All right, let's see. We're just waiting for this building to be done. Then production should skyrocket because we'll have rubble again. go and uh, Kulik thanks for the 17 months almost second baby oh yeah one more month to go wow now Uh, do we have any relics left? No. I think we can shut down the study then. I don't know. We got, we got books. Oh, boy. What's a book? It's got them learning words in there. And we're still low on food with this clan. It's all good. Let's speed things up a little bit. Finally build that thing. And them sm smart brain and learning words in there. What do I think the future... What do you think is the future of gaming? Um, well, I hope to see a lot more games that are um, made by individuals.
Nice. All right, we completed our uh, quest there. On to the next one. Time to restore the radio tower. Oh, here comes the song. I think this is the song. Oh my god, it's coming. This is it, boys! The song's badass, man. Yeah. Part that song is part of the game, like whenever you get to the radio station. Cool. Very good. I like it. I like it. Brother A man, brother yeah, brother yeah. Okay. Restore the radio tower and search for remaining survivors. We're just going to need a lot more of that. A lot more of that rubbish. Of scrap.
Okay. Let's go, brother. Yeah. Michael Lindsay, you just dropped a like on the on the video. Thanks, dude. Certainly helps the channel. Thank you very much. Makes uh makes me feel good about all the effort and time I put in. Thank you very much. Nice. Of you. Uh, we're going to need a lot more rubbish to rebuild this radio station. A lot. Hmm. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. Can we research something for rubbish? Uh, I mean, we are collecting it. It's just taking a little while. This building here is collecting rubbish, but it's, it takes a little bit of time. Because first the building has to collect the rubbish from where it is, then bring it back to the building. Then somebody has to come and pick it up from the building to the warehouse to then be counted as being like collected or in storage usable, basically. What was the flare going off? Whenever you tell your people to go scout stuff out, they'll fire off a flare if they go into an area with um, fog. Daytime. Uh, we're all out of stuff for this building, so we can shut it down. We have everything else. Two hundred, yes. Four hundred, yes. Eight hundred, no. Almost. I'll be ready in like a minute. Radio tower is being repaired. Amen, brother. We're going to need a um, We're going to need some more fishing docks, I think, but we're going to need more people to operate those. It's going to be an, our next goal is to f go out and find people and then bring them back to uh grow the camp. 
Tell him, hey, sup, bruh? Ding ding. Okay, cool. All production there. And lots of rubble over there, dude. Okay. Oh, now we can use the radio tower to locate remaining groups. Okay. Let's go to transmission. Start transmission for people. Oh, we got 11 research from that. Good. The first expedition. All right. So they want us to send out scouts and bring people back. Possible people over there. Okay, let's get another person free. I think we need, um... More people on food. Three hundred. Let's bring food for like five days now we're bringing it for a week all right we'll set up a little base there and connect to that factory hey what's up Seth how you doing Yeah, I moved my stream to midday. We had like a stream over on the Steam store page. Which was weird, but I did it. Alright, so we're actually going to send out scouts that are going to take like a boat here. Although I feel like we could just build a little bridge. like water separating us, but we need more people. I'm trying to catch more fish so we can do more food. There's what our scout boat looks like. Let's 
check the factory. Actually, let's scout around. Dropped in to give a like and see what this game is all about. Looks interesting at first glance. Yeah, there's actually a demo for it, I'm pretty sure, too, on Steam. So if you want to give it a try, that, that'd be a thing. Ooh, we can reclaim the flooded factory. What would we be able to make here? Looks like we'd be able to make tools here. Ooh. But like parts. That's cool. Well, let's chat with these folks and see if they'd like to join us. A new clan discovered, the Oak Hill Survivors. Amen, brother. Uh, if we accept them, we're going to get diseased, but... Better than dying, because we can't make enough food. Oh, there's no demo you can find? It must have been part of the Steam Next event then, but... If you add it to your wish list, if the game ever goes on sale or gets new DLC or goes uh, on like a demo event, you can check there. Well, wow, that's all in this whole factory area. There's nothing. Badge. All right, we'll let this guy come back and then we'll bring everyone. Time to go back home. We can come back here another time. Oh, good. We actually brought food back with us, so that'll be good. An epidemic has started. Uh-oh. Contagion. Survive the epidemic. Oh, we should be able to pick flowers. That'll give us herbs to defend. Key, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Thank you very much for smack and join. Welcome aboard. I thought we would have gotten a book, but I guess not. Get a lockpick? Alright, we should start researching hacksaws. And we can start tearing these buildings down. We can start with these old boats. Alright, that'll be good supply. You hate music when you play games? Oh, really? Like this music? Oh, you can always turn it off. You can go into options and turn the music down. Listen to whatever you want. This is definitely a game that's a little more like you could do that on. Brother, brother, yeah. 
Do we have the fishing wharf yet? No, not yet. Right now, we got a little bit of an epidemic. Could build the herbal station, that might be a good idea. Uh, it takes 30 planks anyway. Oh, it's so expensive. Love the music they chose for the pandemic thing going on. If you play a game for 100 hours, the music will get stale for sure. That's true. By the end of playing Farthest Frontier for a month, I didn't really want to hear the music ever again. Hmm. Well, if we build... If we build a medicine hut, we, we still don't have enough... Uh, materials to build it. I'm surprised we've got nobody who's homeless, though. That's good. Wow. I love this music. Oh, daytime again. All right, what should we focus on next? Oh, yeah. The research from that house. Could use this house for more housing. Would be nice. What is this? Ooh, there was an old industrial hall there. Didn't see that. Oh, we can't get in there anyway. We gotta get ropes for some of this stuff. Now we'll definitely be returning there. Oh, we actually have medicine. We have 23 medications, so the whole outbreak of the disease is not going to be that big of a deal. So let's see. Uh, integrate the other clans into the community. Survive the epidemic. Okay. We're just waiting for that to happen. Renewable resources. Does that mean it'll come back? We'll have one person do that job. This game has a cool amount of research, though. There's lots of stuff to research in this game. 
let's try to do the, uh, I think we should upgrade the forger house. Because those mushrooms are prime real estate. If I upgrade this thing, we can get an additional person. And a skilled person, too. It's just free. Hey, Nettie, thanks for the 14 months as a raptor egg. Welcome. Good to see you. Nice. Oh yeah, so now three people can work there. Plus 21.7 daily. That's great. And that's edible. We don't have to process that. So right now we have fish and mushrooms and berries, maybe? And we have Harry's in the chat. A lad of Pog. Wow. Fish and mushroom stew, I guess, yeah. I guess we'll turn that off for a while. Well, actually, we could change it back to uh, rubble mode. How come the late stream? Oh, so I, uh, usually we would have started uh, a couple hours before our usual time, or the time that we started today, but I did a sponsored stream on the Steam store page for this game earlier, and a lot of the times when devs ask me to stream, they'll have me stream, like, the day before a game comes out or the day of, and then they'll just take, like, the live stream video and just put it on their Steam store page. Well, these developers wanted me to do it live, so... I started the Steam store page a little later when the, when this game was released and streamed for a couple hours, but I already wanted to play it anyway on my own. So this stream's not sponsored. The the one on Steam was, but I still wanted to play it and like get a better feel for it and uh, continue to explore it. This is kind of the early game stuff. And we've seen it a few times, but I do still find it interesting. So it's pretty cool. I guess. So it looks like these rubble rubbish piles are renewable because stuff will keep like washing ashore here. That's kind of cool. Well, let's renovate that home. You'll be around for farming sim tomorrow? Game is insanely good. Best update they ever did. Oh, really? Being paid DLC. Also, you're uh, on the clock for a mandatory. Tonight. Whatever plans you have, complete them. Confirm them and then immediately cancel them. Thank you. You want to end up like Pinto, Harry? Emoteless and happy? Is that where you want to be? 
11.30 it starts, and I have to work at 5. Oh, good. So you're saying you'll join us for six hours. I, I appreciate that level of commitment, Harry. Excellent work. All right, never mind then. You'll get two emotes. You've already confirmed and canceled your plans for tonight? Good. Work your schedule around me. I literally told Lumberjack Samurai to tell his friend to change his wedding date. Because it wasn't just... It, was, it wasn't working out for me. It was clashing with my vibe. Yeah, you know, I say it as a joke. But the hope is there. Alright, we're getting a lot of materials now. Jeez. We got seven people unemployed. Oh, we can still use some more food. Research is a little low, though. There's fish over here. All oh, fish is needed. Okay, looking good. Well, worst case scenario, if Poglad and Harry can't be around until tomorrow, we can always play Oregon Trail tonight. And we'll do farming sim tomorrow. Always possible. How's my fa frame rate been? Pretty good. Alright, food's coming and going. That's good, though. We're kind of holding, though, to wait until we get orders to do something else. We're just supposed to wait until these people are not sick anymore. Search planks next. Oh, that's bendy. Hold up, hold up. Am I tired? Yeah. I'm sleepy. I have this, uh, 
I'm starting to get more often a midday slump. Either uh, between like 4 and 6 or 1 and 3. Probably the coffee. Nothing wrong with naps? Yeah, but then I can't. Captain's got to be on the bridge, boys. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, Amen. Oh, we're getting some good supplies. I've never gotten this many uh, supplies. <sighs> well, we want to keep getting relics. I think I think we need to research. We know there's some there, but we got to get ropes to get all of it. Ah, uh, the rooftop garden. Okay, let's send troops back there. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, they want to do like a uh, Olympics. do it no this is the uh, it sounds like the snow runner soundtrack but this is bloodlands actual soundtrack pretty cool Okay, we're pulling in a decent amount of food. We just need to research now. What can we research? Is it like farming or something? What about growth? Hmm. Lumber mill. Charcoal. Fishing wharf.
pathways we can build. Search and explore boats. What is this? Oh, we can build a pier. Well, we need the main quest to continue, but we're just waiting for a small amount of sickness to finish. Could build an herbalist hut, but only like two people sick. They're surviving. Will we upgrade the research facilities? Uh, we need to get something specific to research. We have to go collect an item. And we're doing a little expedition over here, but we're waiting for our people to arrive. You require planks in the future <laughs> for regular construction yeah we might we need we need to relax okay let's search these buildings and start bringing stuff home good goblin time Ooh, our first death. Ooh. Bound to happen sometime. Why so dead around here? I know. Well, it's probably just old age. I mean, when we have food and water, I just can't tell. this oh yeah soybeans okay
Music here is great. They're coming to get it. Our people are going to get it. There we go. Oh, wow, we're like full. Let's just head home. All right, we lived. Or maybe somebody died due to the uh, contagion. Law abiding society. All right, time to start with laws and litigation. Issue basic legislation, create space for recreation and social gatherings, and influence by satisfying need for recreation. Very nice. Up salad. Bring things back home. Gonna have to make a couple trips. And I'm back now. That's going to be cool. Maybe be worth upgrading the field kitchen? Uh, could be. We have to research that upgrade. And usually building stuff's pretty spendy. Okay, uh, issue basic legislation. How do we do that? There we go. Whoa, okay. So you saw the research. <laughs> saw the research. This is a big old thing for laws. Oh, boy. The Book of Laws. What's up, Clay? Brother, brother, yeah. Oh, what do we got? Community law. Ooh, we can have a feast. Gain influence by satisfying the need of recreation. Oh, this is new. Canteen and bonfire. So we're going to have to research planks and then like a sawmill. growth wood cutting station what's up kashish how you doing
All right, cool. Expedition has returned safely. Good. And we got some planks. Might be a good idea to build houses together because then we could take a little bit of a bonus from that, from the whatever the socialization bonus is. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, planks a lot, Chad. All right, so now we got to gain influence. We're going to wait for this to be done. What's up, Nick? How you doing? There we go. So does this might just work automatically. Yep. Seems so. Bonfire. We we'll build that over here. Yeah, all right, cool. We're working on those societal needs. That's good. All them societal needs. Saving automatically. Good, thank you. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, what's with YouTube's new emotes? Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of new emotes for YouTube, just base free for everybody. Who are they designed for, I wonder? Kids? Yeah, they designed it for the channel. Just for you guys.
Got him. Oh, it's going to take a while to actually... Oh, okay. All right, that's going to take a while to uh, increase satisfaction. It's got to operate for a little bit. A real long time ago. Literally crayons. I mean, we got some emotes that are cooler than the YouTubes, but at least they stepped up a little bit. I mean, they're old emotes. But those super chats are still weird, dude. That hippopotamus that's in, like, a computer chair and, like, whatever. All of theirs are, like, weird animals and stuff. It's weird. Looks like these buildings operate manually. You just need to have them on a long time to like keep people happy. Okay. I'm going to try to generate some more water. Field kitchen. How can we upgrade the field kitchen? Just a regular kitchen. We remove the field, and thus it becomes be becomes better. Cost of that is ten. Well, let's go work. Shellfish post? What is this, a red lobster? I'm trying to survive out here, and people are like, ah, oh, yes. I require caviar. And do you have shellfish? I'll take your finest Kool Aid. Should be able to build that logging camp too. Oh, can we make more laws now? Hmm. Martial law. Wait, why is that highlighted? Oh, just because it's new, probably. Feast, flag, and custom. Ooh, centralized health services. That might be good. Every time we band with a new clan, there could be like sickness. Water saving. Mm. With the crowning, I can become a king. Shooting ranges, gyms, militarization, curfew. Wait a minute, there must be hostile clans in this game. There must be combat then. Because we have uh, <laughs> rebellion suppression, militarization, non aggression pact. Yeah, like who the hell would we go into war with? Oh my god, this game actually has got it all. Okay. Military stuff confirmed. Uh, 
autopsy. For a moment, I thought that said auto pay, and I'm like, how the hell? <laughs> In the post-apocalyptic world, where you still have to have like a an auto pay account going. Like, hey, I know the world ended, but rents do. Meet prohibition. Cultural education. Pub Ooh, public space. That'd be good. I this for beer. Well, we need more respect for that to unlock. Bears qualifying for citizenship. Chat, now come on. They can fill out the form. I'll, we'll talk about it. What's up, Key? How you doing? Someone shopped at Marshall's. All right, let's keep research going. We need more research. The kitchen's getting upgraded. Let's see how that looks. It's gonna look like a Wendy's. Fresh, never frozen. Yeah, maybe we can research water conservation or something. Stuff in there. Workers too. New kitchen holds too. Oh, it's got to be a specialization. Monster fish spotted. Bad news. Spotted some monster fish and they're as big as a grown man. Only saw a single specimen. Two a few hours ago, three just now. I have a feeling it's a matter of days before a whole shawl gets here. From surrounding waters. They're sure to attack our fisheries. We gotta stop fishing for some time and prepare ourselves for a fish shortage. Great. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks for telling me, bruh. All right, so now the fishing docks are going to produce less. We're going to need a bigger boat. <sighs> Daytime again.
Gain influence by satisfying the need. All right, we're at three out of 15. Prepare for looming fish crisis two days. We should make another kitchen. look cool and we'll be able to make much more food gotta go play some ACA tent oh you're gonna play ATS in Texas you're gonna go to Buf Buford Texas I got gotcha. you yeah the ATS DLC for Texas is finally out good stuff Finally. At least we only had to wait like a day, right? Just a day. Wow. Wow. Cool. Water and food are dwindling. Uh, I'm kind of more afraid of water because we keep building stills and it's not enough. We're gonna have to get a pump going. I got the pump going. Okay, we'll just be patient, I guess. Imagine a first person to this, that'd be cool. That would be cool. I guess. Another beautiful day. Oh good, and happiness is, or recreation is five out of 15. Nice. Pump, pump, pump it up. Okay, now we have two kitchens for both sides of the neighborhood. Also, we can only hire one person in the kitchens, even though it says two, because we got to specialize in the other thing. Better turn this back on. We'll get a little bit more research. Wow. How do you get a second worker? Uh, well, this one's requiring um, workers that specialize in expression. And so in order to specialize in that, you just need to get some books and have them study at the study thing to basically learn the ways of the old world and try to turn that into a specialization. Survival bussin. Well, I'm in uh, Central Standard Time, like 
Chicago, Dallas, Minneapolis. Middle of the U.S. You make your own custom road? Yeah, we can make roads. Um, in fact, if we do that, they'll move faster, so... Might be a good idea now. Or not. I think we're going to be attacked soon, so we're going to just see what happens. new expedition I don't know where we'd go or what we'd be looking for I guess more relics research is always going to be important it's going to be more important than chat getting to 300 likes right now that's how important it is by the way uh, subscribing is free too Yep. True. Wow, it's pretty. In a weird way. lovely yep and the monster fish are here Docks they're affecting. Great. Not great. How does this game stack up to... Oh, stack up compared to other survival city builders like Farthest Frontier and Frostpunk. Well, this is probably closer to surviving the aftermath and like end zone a world apart. Uh, Frostpunk's something a little different somehow. It's Frostpunk's kind of more Frostpunk, but definitely shares the same vibes. And as for um, Farthest Frontier, I don't really think so since there's water and like based on, I guess, current times. Also, got some good music though. They've shut down the fishing docks, essentially. We're waiting to get 15. We're at 9 out of 15. That's great. Hmm. Well, we're going to need 15 points to pass a law. Man. Piranhas? They could be. Oh, 
good. Research is going up. We got 26 now. We'll get everybody working. Supplies are looking nice. I wonder if we can, like, force... Well, there was a feast law that we could pass in the book, but... Hmm. Ba ding ding We're at 11 out of 15. All right, good. I want to keep getting relics. We need to research their power. Yeah. Yeah. Another cantina. Yeah, I could build another one on the other side, but they might take f extra food. I'm not exactly sure how they work, so I don't want to build them. Especially since the uh, we're basically under attack by big fish. Can we construct bridges to connect islands? Yes. We just have to research that. Like, for example, these two islands can be Pretty easily connected, I'm sure. Malmo's watching. Milos, how you doing? No more resources. They'll probably regrow. Okay. Wait, what does this say? Invasion of predatory fish. A plague of watery predators has focused, uh, forced us to fish more carefully. So the catch is smaller. We should consider sm uh, using other food sources for the time being. Oh. Yeah. Beverage of choice for today's stream? Just like some sort of uh, seltzer water thing. Trying to be healthy.
Oh wow, the trees came back like that? Jeez. And that kid's a uh, Paul Bunyan, whoever was assigned there. Hey, gum, brother. Woo. Thirteen on to fifteen. All right, we're almost there. Good. The trees look like broccoli. They they certainly do. Yeah. Could that be? I wonder how it doesn't say how long those fish are gonna be here, so we might have a problem getting food eventually. We're okay for now, we're okay. We'll see what happens. Oh good, we got fifteen out of fifteen. Gain influence by satisfying the need of the recreation. Excellent. Recreation aid. Okay, so now another mission complete. Let's see how long it takes to actually acknowledge it. <laughs> Maybe we can have a costume party down at the bar. The bear. Gotta go down to their bear. Nighttime again. Yeah, bears. Let's see, see what happens today. Come on, we gotta be able to make it. I wanna see what the next objective is. Yeah, we could pass a law. Well, we have 15 out of 15. I'm assuming that's points, but it's... I don't want to spend any. Maybe it's going to wait until it detects 16 or something like that. I don't want to spend and start at zero because I want to see what the next quest is. 
Connor, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Very nice in the chat. Show him some love. Let's go. And welcome to all the new members. Ooh. Yeah. Tim, thanks for the 19 months as an egg. Thank you very much. Oh, I have 17 points. Oh, did I? When I go into the book? Oh, you're right. Um, I guess we'll spend it on something. Let's go with flag and custom. Oh, drop back down to two. Well, that's weird, because it was at 17. Yeah, good point, chat. Pointing that out, we were at 17 out of 15, but we were at 15 here on the menu, and then it didn't count. Don't we need to build a recreational building? Well, we kind of did. The uh, bonfire and stuff is recreational. Right? Yeah, the bonfire and the canteen are both recreational. Unless it's something new we should, like, research. Tim upgrading to a little raptor. Thank you very much for the big O upgrade, brother. Yeah. Well, here's what the mission says. Uh, we need laws to keep order in the settlement. We also need a bonfire. We built that so the people can sit around the hearth and comfortably discuss issues that are important to them. Objectives, and, <laughs> and then the objectives are blank. And you did see earlier that it said 15 out of 15, so. And these buildings are automatic. Like, once you build them, people will just come and do whatever they need to. Like Doctor. Uh, sure, all are free to join us. create a fire um wow wow came with the five thank you very much i asked my dog what's two minus two he said nothing Place where the living near one another can sit down. Yeah, I think it just needs to be near homes. Let's put it over here. You ask your dog what what's on top of the house? He said roof roof. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a town center in the game, but there is like kind of ways to make them with all the buildings. Yeah, this music get getting better. Seems like the more we play, the more tunes that come out.
bangers. Ooh, city pretty. A new day. Wait. Oh, okay, I was going to say. They want me to enact martial law, but I don't think so. We'll see. We'll hit the goal again. Just checking. Is my chat visible? Yes, Nerdpalooza. I can see your message. Yeah, storage is full on a few buildings. That's all right. They can kind of get backed up at where they come from. That's okay. To me. Books again. Back to standard mode. Interesting. Yeah, we're ten out of fifteen again. Okay. Oh. All right, finally, the monster fish went away, but we still had plenty of food, so that worked out. Let's find some more. Well, it looks like there's some big brain in here. Send expedition. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Rundown factory versus flooded factory. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see.
Okay. Anyway. Where were we? Oh, there's buildings over here, too. I feel like we would find zombies wandering around that neighborhood. I mean, I'm not saying it's zombies, chat, but it's zombies. Wait, this building looks like the Harley Davidson factory. This this one here. Wow. Yeah, this goal should have been done. According to this, it just says to make sure people can spend time there. And we built multiple buildings, so they should just be able to come and chill. What if we can upgrade the warehouses again? Uh, 36 points. Oops. Yeah, see, now it says 15 out of 15 again, and it's not like completing the objective. I want to know what's next, damn it. Got some intel from Poglad. Good. Some forward recon. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't completing. Like, it's 15 out of 15. Maybe, just maybe, the game is looking precisely for 15, and that's like a day one glitch where... The programming is looking for the number 1-5, and it says 1-7. Anything over than that, we'll goof it up. Well, we can work around that by at least uh, going and exploring more, which, by the way... Where's that team? Oh, they're there. Alright, new Uncharted Lands. I like this screen too. If you press F, it brings up a cool overlay. But if you have multiple districts, like eventually we'll settle multiple islands, and thus at a glance you can see who's like healthy and hungry and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to see though. Oh, there you go. I think that's on crime. We're at crime level six. I don't know if that's bad. What's up, Alfred? How you doing, dude? Oh, boy. Look at this. Ugh. Oh, it's a habitable factory. We can actually live there. 
All right, we've got plastics, flour, field beams. Bring it all back, boys. Well, well, my attention is needed. Why? Oh. New lore. Threat level midnight. Damn good, uh, damn good reference. That one makes me T and he. boat soon so working on that yeah this objective said 15 out of 15 and not, not not let me go forward that's okay it's day one I think it's looking for exactly 15 we got like 17 or 20 just big brain smartness that's all Yeah, it's the same factory we played the other day for Common Hood, but now it's just post-apocalyptic, yeah. Ah, oh, good, we're getting research. Oh wait, it acknowledged it now. I have some big news. Been nose down in our study looking through everything. Why did that take so long to acknowledge? Oh. Are you kicking off with a new song? I thought it was going to be like a new song. All right, we got to look for a big chimney to locate the power plant complex. So now we're on the, yeah, we're on the search for the big old power plant now. Oh, damn. I think, bro, I think it's custom song time. All right, I don't know how it completed, but it just somehow worked. I don't know. Look for a big chimney. Oh, dude, there's one. Oh, I think they mean over here. Ruined power station. Well, that could be it. Pretty vague, though. Like, hey, go into this industrial area and find an a port of exhaust. way I can change that Gather intel about the rebirth power plant and enter the facility. Oh, damn, they want us going into the plant. I think this is it, but I don't know. In order for us to go there, we have to somehow find it on the radar. I will probably play Oregon Trail tomorrow. I think I'll play, uh, like tomorrow morning, I think I'll play Farming Sim with Rick and Harry, myself and anybody else who's around. Maybe Stromby? No, I'll, I'll have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to find out what we're gonna do. Because I want to be able to play with my friends too. We have a Farming Sim scheduled for tonight, but we might move it just, just so I can play with more people, because that's more fun. 
Well, we found a quote-unquote interesting place. Let's go ahead and scavenge that. So now we have to find and enter the power plant. This is why we were here. But it's not going to be that easy. If that's just chapter two, there's a hell of a lot more we're going to have to do. But this has got to be it, though. It literally says power facility. Just start an exploration and put the box over there. Um, I don't know if you could wait. What do you mean? I think when you you have to start expeditions. Well, right now our group's here, so we'll have to come back first. I think you can only do one at a time. One at a time, people. A doll named Mandy. Bring the doll back to the settlement. Oh god, it's gonna cause a curse. We did it. There we go. Am I live streaming anytime soon? No, dude. I can't even remember the last time I live streamed, to be honest. It's been a long time. What is this? Oh yeah, this study hall. Uh, we're getting okay research. What what does that give us? Two eh. That's okay, it means twenty. All right, we'll send these guys back home, and then we can go and locate the power plant. See what happens. This is just a replay from a year ago? Yes. Well, five thirty-eight. <laughs> Food's still a little light. We got all these soybeans and like other types of food, but farming in this game, I haven't been able to do that yet. Yeah, we can do night shifts. Do I actually have to do it or do we just accept it? There we go. Brother, brother, yeah. 
Unlock and search. Oh, there's more stuff in there. Bro, this industrial chimney is just absolutely packed with, like, booty. Loot. Loot, scoot, and boogie. Hey, what's up, uh, Rachel? How you doing? Alright, one in the chat if everybody's following me on Twitter. One in the chat if everybody's following me on Instagram. One in the chat if you're in the Discord. One in the chat if you're a subscriber. One in the chat if you're a member. Exclamation point Instagram, by the way. Exclamation point Twitter. Links are all down below in the description, too, for the Discord. That should all be there. We're going to grab this stuff and we're going home. We got to. We're out of rations anyway. Which is fine. We're not even that far. Literally across the uh, gap there. And boom, we're home. We made it. stuff okay Let's slow down time. Seek for anything. I want to seek for... It doesn't have, like, a destination. But actually, you're right, chat. We, we could do it that way. gonna need more food I see what you meant where uh, yeah I forgot we could actually click on the ground so if we're gonna get to the power plant we would just click on prepare new expedition and then go right over here just somewhere on the solid ground more food. <laughs> Has the fishing completely moved? Can't just rely on foraging. Find out where some food is. Not sure. Well, the next goal is to basically just head over there. So we just need enough uh, rations to do it. We got tons of water. Well, this one power pl power plant. Light in the distance. Yes, indeed. It's saving the save. Like, I don't think I told you to save yet, did I? Oh, I clicked save, but I was hoping that it would let me enter my own information.
Check the fishing docks and add another person. That's a good idea. We'll do that next time. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me for Floodland. I already did about two hours of this on the Steam store page this morning, too, a little earlier. And there's some other videos and other live streams, I think. No, just uh, two other videos on the early access version and the demo for Floodland. But this is out today for like 30 bucks on Steam. So if you want to get it, pick it up. I'll be back a little bit later tonight, maybe move some things around because I'd like to play uh, my second stream, which is Farming Sim. But I want to play it with uh, Harry and Rick, so maybe we'll move that tomorrow and uh, or two tomorrow, and we'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you, everybody, for dropping in. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for all the support. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see more, spam that like button aggressively and let me know you'd like me to play more of Floodland and that you'd like to see more on the channel. And I'd like to see what awaits for us in that power plant since we found it. It'd be interesting to see what it's like to get that bad boy up and running. All right, thank you everybody for being here, hanging out. And I'll see you all a little bit later for more. Thank you again for all the big O support, folks. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye.